So a friend of mine and I were having a discussion the other day, and he asked me, what do you think is the best anime in the past five years or so? And it turned out that I really didn't have a great answer for him. You see, this conversation got started when we were sort of debating the quality of the recent One Punch Man anime. He thinks this anime is absolutely spectacular, and it really blew him away in a lot of regards. And I responded with saying that I thought One Punch Man was great and I enjoyed it, but I really didn't find it quite as compelling as he did. We had a bit of back and forth and he said, well, what do you think is the best? What do you think is really good? What really compelled you to watch every week recently? And I said, well, I don't know. If I had to pick, I guess I'd say Steins Gate. Steins Gate was really an incredible anime, one that I really, really enjoyed watching back in 2013. I thought the animation was great, I really liked the characters, and I absolutely loved the drama and the storytelling in that particular series. But while I really did enjoy Steins Gate, I can't really talk about it much from a review standpoint because it's been so long since I've seen it, and I unfortunately haven't had the opportunity to watch it again. So, with that being said, I couldn't really think of anything else that I really, really thought was quite a spectacle to watch. Otherwise, I told him, besides Steins Gate, I'd probably say Haikyuu. I really, really do enjoy Haikyuu, and I think that team does a great job in terms of adapting the longer-running shonen manga. Haikyuu does great in terms of its plot development and characters, but I will also say that with it being a sports anime, you can sort of say inherently that the stakes aren't quite as high as something you might expect out of a different type of anime. And with that being said, it is a little limiting in terms of what they can and cannot do as far as the storytelling and the writing goes. But to this day, I'm still thoroughly enjoying Haikyuu Season 3, and I think it's fantastic. I really, really recommend all three seasons that have aired so far. If you have not seen Haikyuu and you want to try out a sports anime, that is the one I'd recommend you check out. But back to the topic at hand, what is the best anime in 2016, 2015? What's the best anime in modern times? We sort of had this discussion and I said, I don't know. The best anime I've seen came out in 2006, 2010. Between that time period, between 2005 and 2010, was probably the really great great years for anime for me. That's when Code Kiosk came out, that's when Gurren Lagann came out, and so many other really good series that I thoroughly enjoyed back in the day. Heck, if you bump it up a little bit longer to 2011, that is where we got Madoka Magica as well. So I guess you could sort of include that in the last five years part of his question, but with it being almost 2017, I guess that comes down to a matter of preference. So with that being said, I really did make this video in order to pose the question to you guys as well. Well, what is a really, really good anime that you've seen recently? What's something that blew you away? The only other one I can really think of that I thought was pretty good, like, because there's been a lot of anime I've watched recently that I thought were kind of subpar, not really worth your time in the end, but I really did also enjoy Death Parade. That was one I watched on a whim, didn't really know anything about it, but definitely thoroughly enjoyed that one as well. I think that series in particular is really accentuated and really bolstered by its short length. I think that really does the series justice and makes it a good watch. Other than that though, man, I really have not been quite as impressed as I would have liked to with the anime offerings of these past couple years. So it does make me wonder, are my standards changing as an anime fan? Or is the anime that's coming out nowadays just not as well produced as I would like it to be? As far as manga goes, you guys already know I'm still reading quite a bit of different series. I just did my review of Platinum N not too long ago, and I actually just got caught up on all of the Hunter x Hunter manga that has been released here in the States. As you guys already know, I was watching the anime back in the day, but I just thought, you know what, the pacing of this anime is great, but it's not great enough for me to want to watch. I just wanted to read all the manga because I could read one volume of the manga that covered multiple episodes of the anime in about the length that it would take to watch one anime episode, maybe one and a half. It did not take me long to read a volume of the Hunter x Hunter manga, so I'm all caught up, and I'm really excited to hopefully see where that series goes, but that's an entirely different topic for an entirely different day. So like I said before, guys, please drop a comment down below. Let me know a great series that you've seen in recent years, something that's really good, easily available on Crunchyroll or something along those lines for a legal stream, and maybe I'll be able to check it out in the near future. Or if you're like me and you haven't really seen 
seen anything that's blown you away, let me know about that as well. Let me know if you agree with me, because then at least I know I am not the only one feeling this way about the anime series coming out in recent years. So that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.